Hi everyone! Today's video is going to be my June favorites. I'm super excited to get this video out there today because a lot of the products that I'm going to be talking about in today's video are going to be products that I'm using in my next tutorial. I was debating whether to put the tutorial out first or to do my favorites, but I figured since it's the end of the month, I should just do my favorites and get it out there. So this tank top that you guys can see, it is a sequin um, 4th of July tank top from Victoria's Secret Pink, and I'm super excited that it's almost the 4th. I love that holiday and I can't wait to celebrate it. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So I'm going to begin with the makeup products. The first thing I want to talk about is this primer from Makeup Forever. I used this in my summer foundation tutorial. This is the smoothing primer from Makeup Forever and I'm absolutely obsessed with this primer. I mentioned that it's kind of like a skin smoother, so like the app where you would filter your picture to make your skin look really smooth and blurred out. That's basically what this does. It is so amazing. If you have the chance to go to a Sephora, get a sample of this, try it out for like a week or so, even like a few days and you will be be completely blown away with the results that you will get with this on your makeup. I think it does help mattify it to some degree but um, like if it's super humidity or if it's super hot then you will get oily but other than that this foundation primer is so good. You can use it alone, you can use it underneath foundation, you can use it underneath the whole full face makeup which technically what I do because I have a lot of makeup on but I love this primer. Um, I would say that you get a lot of product in this and you can see that it looks like I barely used it, but I really do use a lot of this and I love this primer so much. It's definitely worth the price. So my next product is a makeup brush. This is from Hakuhodo and this is the G5528. I think I used this in my tutorial that will be coming out very soon. And this is basically like Hakuhodo's version of a pencil brush. So what I love using this brush for is to smudge color into my lower lash line. I was trying to go between like a different pencil brush and like a flat shader brush to try to do my lower lash line and I felt like all of the other brushes that I was using for my lower lash line which just took too much energy and took too much time to blend a color in. This, it deposits a color, you can barely just push it into your lower lash line, your color will be fine because it's so dominant and so round and it's so fluffy, it will blend out that color so fast and with so much ease you literally will be blown away with how perfect this brush performs on your eye makeup and I'm loving this brush. I believe that this brush is Blue Squirrel. Um, it could be Goat, but definitely check out this brush from Hakuhodo. So this next product is kind of like a body bronzer and tanner. It's from Blood and it's the Immunity Deep Body Bronzer. So there's two shades. This is the darkest one. I live for this stuff. I use this all of the time when I like, go to an event and I'm wearing like shorts or if I'm wanting to look super, super tan, I would definitely put this all over my body. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what this looks like. It's really like bronzy. So a lot of tanners um, have like a natural color or kind of like a more deeper color tint to it but this is kind of like a bronzy color and it also has a lot of shimmer inside of it um, I feel like when you do self tan a lot of times people will want to have their legs more glittery and shimmery so they will add shimmer onto their legs and this already has all of that built into one this will make you super super tan definitely check out their Instagram and you will see like the results they use this a lot for like body competitions and like bodybuilders and stuff like that but I live for this stuff it is so good you can already see like I'm already a dark color and this literally makes me so dark I love it so much I always layer like more than one layer when I'm using it. So you guys can see on my hands, um, it does stain your hands, but if you wash it out with soap, it will go away. So you guys can see what it looks like on my hands. Um, it's basically like the color that I have on right now on my skin. So if you just add this onto your skin, it adds such a nice sheen, a nice glow, a nice tan color. And if you, I've worn this on Halloween before, and I think I did like three or four coats of it. But if you do that many coats, you literally look a tr like a trophy. It's so gorgeous. I love it so much. And it's definitely worth checking out if you are obsessed with looking tan and looking as dark as possible. So my next product is a new lip scrub. Um, I talk about lip scrubs and just lip products in general a lot because I have really dry lips. So it's always I always benefit from using a lip scrub, a lip mask, whatever I can get my hands on. I live for this stuff. I wanted to include this last month. So technically I've been using this for two months now, but I forgot to include it in my favorites videos. So this is the lip scrub by Sarah Happ in the flavor Confetti Cake. I, it literally smells like a birthday cake and like a birthday pop tart and like birthday bubble gum. It just, it's so good. Um, I, I assume that every lip scrub you can eat it. Um, cause my other one, I was eating it like 
it's hard to like put it on your lips and you get some that goes in your mouth and you want to spit it out but this is so good you literally gonna eat all of it um i've used a lot of it you guys can see this is so good it's so moisturizing i feel like this lip scrub is definitely more moisturizing than the last one that i had and i love it so much i think this flavor was limited edition so definitely check out um the other flavors they always have so many and i was just in um nordstrom um like a week ago and they had all of these other flavors and i got a different flavor just to stock up in case i wanted to save this one since it was limited edition but i love this stuff if you are looking for a good lip scrub definitely check out this one so sticking with lip products i want to talk about a couple of lip glosses i don't have either of these on but it was definitely worth mentioning in my favorites video in my foundation tutorial i had one of these on and i've just been wearing these non-stop like switching between back and forth between these two they're both basically clear but i love it because the packaging it's a super pink and super orange i would never ever probably most likely never wear like a pink lip or an orange lip color but I loved these because they I knew that they were sheer when I read the reviews a lot of people don't like that but I live for packaging when it comes to cosmetics so it was definitely a plus for me and I think these were part of the summer collection of last summer for Chanel these are the Laverse Scantonils Glossomer I, I don't know how to pronounce that so the orange one is 427 and then the pink one is 437. I believe the pink one is called Eden and I don't remember what the orange one is called. The orange one has some shimmer into it and then the pink one is just completely just glossy. I love both of these. I love them. Wearing them alone, um, that's how I've been wearing these. I don't wear anything underneath it. Just throw on some lip balm and when I'm done with my makeup, I just throw on some of this lip gloss. So I'll just give you guys a quick swatch of what these look like. So there is a little tiny tint of like the orange and the pink in it but you guys can see that it's super super clear and I just love them they don't dry your lips out like most lip glosses do the lip gloss that I have on right now is from MAC it's a dazzle glass and sugar rimmed and my lips are really sticky right now these Chanel ones do not make your lips sticky at all I was wearing them I was drinking Diet Coke I was eating I was going on with my day and my lips stayed glossy they did not dry out and I love that about them so I assume all of the Chanel lip glosses will have that result these are the only ones that I have from the Scantonils line I then again I don't know how to pronounce that but definitely check these out you could probably find them on a reseller if you look on the internet or if you have these in your collection and you're like oh, I don't really know what to do with these they're perfect for just adding a little bit of gloss to your lips in the summertime. So my next couple products are lash products. So the first ones are eyelashes from Lily Lashes Galici Glam. These are one of her new 3D mink lashes and I have a style called Miami. I Can we just take a moment to just look at these lashes? They are so insane. So most recently when I have been doing my full glam makeup, I was wearing these lashes and I live for them. They are so amazing on your eyes. If anybody knows eyelashes, I would definitely say it's probably Lily Galici. She loves double stacking, triple stacking her lashes, and I feel like that's what she did with these because they are like so 3D effect. All, all of my other lashes, when I compare them to, I love flutter lashes, but none of them have like the effect like how her lashes are. They definitely are very, very dramatic. So if you are looking to do like a natural makeup, but you want to do like something crazy for your lashes, definitely check out all of her 3D lashes. I love the um, I love this Miami style. These are the ones that Kylie Jenner was pictured in when she first announced this line collection for Galici Glam. So definitely look at her Instagram, both Lily Galici and Lily Lashes. And I definitely would say these are worth picking up. I know that they are somewhat expensive, but um, if you take care of your lashes, you can wear them multiple times. I have worn these Lily Lashes probably five times at least. And just as long as you take them off, you clean them, you take the glue off, and you make sure that you're very careful with them, they can last you super, super long. I have some Flutter Lashes from like over a year ago, and I keep all of my stuff in really good condition. So definitely take care of your lashes if they are super expensive. And another lash product that I really have been loving is the Velour Lashes. I think it's called the Too Easy Lash Applicator. I got this at Sephora. So re most recently, Velour Lashes um, launched their products inside Sephora's. I believe it's nationwide or at least in the U.S. And I saw this inside Sephora one time. I've never tried Velour Lashes, but I've never seen or I have seen a couple of brands come out with their own little lash applicator. I never believed in trying one because I was like, mm, it probably doesn't really do anything different from my tweezers. So I decided to just try this one on a whim. It has like this little like 
kind of curve to the applicator end so it fits into your lash band and you can just put your lashes on with so much ease it literally is so much faster to apply your lashes when you use this tool as opposed to using tweezers and I love it so much I have been doing my lashes way quicker when I have been using this product so I'm sure a lot of, like I said a lot of other brands and companies have one of these but I would definitely say check out Velour Lashes it's really great and I love it so much all right, so those are all of my makeup products. So now I'm going to get into my fun products that I have been loving. The first thing is this really cute little cubby. This is called the Cubes. C-U-B-E-E-Z. Cubies, I probably. Fill them, stack them, collect them. And this is the Muppets. And this is Miss Piggy. So this is so cute. I, was, I got this a long time ago. And I just never knew what to use it for. So it was just sitting in my bathroom. And I finally decided to use it to store my makeup um, cleaning wipes. So it's like a little cube inside. You guys can see I keep my Shiseido cleaning um, pads inside here for whenever I take off my eye makeup and my lip products. So I love using it for that and it is so adorable. They have literally every single Disney character but Miss Piggy is one of my favorite Muppets. Well actually no, she is my favorite Muppet but she's one of my favorite Disney characters. Um, let me show you guys because there's a little thingy inside here, a little advertisement. Like I said, I got this at Hallmark and I believe it was like... I don't know, like six bucks or something. But they have all these characters. So they have like the Muppets, they have um, Peanuts from Charlie Brown, they have Disney Pixar characters, they have Disney characters like Mickey Mouse and stuff, Star Wars. I love it. So if you love Disney and you want to get something like this, definitely pick it up because I'm not sure if these are still available, but uh, it's so cute. Oh, here's the price tag. It's $7.95 and I love it. So if you have Hallmark, definitely check these out. And so my next product is this kind of clutch handbag. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It is a Diet Coke can, and I used this at Fame Expo. So if you saw me at Fame Expo, this is, I'm going to tell you guys where I got this. So I got this at a boutique on Robertson. I believe it's called LF Store. Um, I see the handbag over there, or the shopping bag. But it's called LF Store. So I was walking on Robertson, and this is right after the Kitson, I think it's the Men's Kitson? Um, no, it's after the Couples. So... I was walking and I looked in their window because I've never heard of the store before and they had this Diet Coke can. They also had a regular Coke one and I was like, oh my god, it's so cute because I saw a picture on Instagram of a Diet Coke clutch and it was like made of like crystals or diamonds or whatever and I was like, oh my god, I really want something like that and I was so excited that they had this. This was somewhat affordable, $55, so it's not super like like a super expensive like a handbag but I used this um, on IMAX or not IMAX, I used this on Fame Expo to just keep my ID and like my business cards inside there but so this is how big it is um, it does not fit an iPhone 6 so keep that in mind it also does not fit a compact mirror I have the Chanel one but you can put like your lip gloss or your lip balm and stuff like that um, and yeah I love it so much it has a super long chain you can use it on one shoulder you can use it as a crossbody you can take the shape the chain off it's detachable and you can use it as a clutch and I love it so much so I'm not sure if they sell this on the website or if it is sold on, on like eBay or something like that but I definitely would say check it out if you are a Diet Coke addict like me or you are a regular Coca-Cola addict so I love this so much and it's so cute to just add it to your handbag collection because it's like super it's not super affordable I mean it's not super expensive so if you do like end up ruining it or losing it it's not gonna be that devastating so I love it okay you guys and so like usual my last favorite of the month is a pair of sunglasses and I actually got these also like a couple of months ago but I didn't want to include them because um, I was living for my other sunglasses so I decided to save these for a future month. These are from Dior and these are the Dior Technologic sunglasses. So the lenses are mirrored and they also have different colors or different color combinations so they have one that's black, gold and one that's kind of like gold and it fades down into like a burgundy color. So I love these glasses. These are what they look like. Um, the sides are, they feel plastic to me so um, metal and um, I guess like a plastic side but these are what they look like on um, these are in the most recent campaign for Dior and you guys can see that it's like reflective the, the lenses so they're like mirrored and I live for these glasses I love them so much and I am so excited that I have them especially now for the summertime because I feel like they're so perfect for summer and it's perfect especially here living in California they have definitely been trending on like Instagram if you look on like Instagram and you see like fashion pages and stuff like that and celebrities Kylie Jenner has the ones that are like aubergine kind of color and I love these so if you are 
thinking about getting these glasses from Dior, I definitely would say pick them up and they definitely will be one of your favorite glasses. Okay, you guys, so those are all of my favorites for the month of June. Um, I was trying to go for like an easy summer glam makeup, but I feel like it ended up turning out more, I guess I would say more glam than like a natural daytime look. So I think I'm going to film this tutorial for you guys. So other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this favorites video. And definitely look out for my tutorial, which will be coming up next. I'll see you guys all in the next video.